Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. You can make one common mistake that can cost you hundreds, even thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Toyota Corolla. That generation here from year 2013 to year 2019. If you have one of those, if you need to find where the uh, where the fuse for the rear windshield wiper is located on the hatchback. If you have a hatchback, not the sedan, you have a rear wiper. We will explain which fuse you need to check, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time. And why it's important to always test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure to stay until the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do engine work, transmission, mechanical, body work, anything you can think of practically. On this channel specifically, we'll be making at least 150 to 200 videos about that Toyota Corolla, that generation, guys, if you have one of those, we'll be making a video for every single fuse, every single relay. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your car does not want to start, you can, and uh, you find out that the fuel pump is bad, you're not getting fuel, you can just search for fuel pump uh, relay, fuel pump fuse really quickly, watch the video, spend a minute or two, replace it, you're back on the road, because uh, the writings on the fuse box uh, are very vague and most people will not even know uh, what they mean so uh, we will be making videos about uh, every possible fusing uh, relay in that Toyota Corolla so let's start on it now now guys windshield wipe a rear window wiper, excuse me, fuse. If you have the hatchback, where you can find it, we'll demonstrate on that generation to your Corolla. The hatchback will be the same, just a different shape in the back. Uh, you have multiple fuse boxes today. We're working one that's on the driver's side. Open the door, and if you look under the dash, all the way on the bottom of the dash, upside down, you will find one, or you will find one white cover that looks like this one. Pop it open. Behind it, you'll find the main interior fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys, when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so where we can expect to find our rear window wiper fuse oh by the way if you guys need to buy any fuses relays parts tools for toyota corolla or any car at a good price quick shipping we will put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience that way you do not waste your money and time so starting in, on this side you count fuse number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen if you have the hatchback you have the rear wiper that fuse number 15 will be the one for the rear window wiper if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to let us know hopefully the video was helpful and see you guys next time 